Hi, my name is Edgar. My name is Shareg and we are from Armenia. <laughs> we are, are Persian Armenian. Prophet Lovi ministered to us a few things about our relationship and our life. And also she says in our in this scenario, we need to have children. So by the grace of the God, uh, God gave us uh, two wins, two miracle baby that they so probably most most one of us about me that to stop few things like alcohol smoking and about my uh, about that another issue that I had that anger issue so the God so, uh, spoke to me and then towards the prophet Lovi and then so uh, since that day that prophecy day uh, no drinking no smoking Working on the anger issue is less than that before because he says, he mentioned it at uh, happy wife, happy God. <laughs> so I'm just work on it. So yeah. And then, uh, yeah, that was all. And then. So at the he, first very beginning, he said in this scenario, um, he, we, have, we need to have children and um, he gave us an apple and he said, whatever you guys... Um, like prophetic, prophetic. Uh, how, how many seeds the apple has, uh, you can have that much children in the future. And how, however you wish for to, to have, you, you, you will have uh, that children in the future. Whatever you, you want from God, it will happen. Yeah, and then God give us not one, two, double blessing. <laughs> Yeah, we went home, we prayed, and um, we, we said, if it's, God, uh, if it's your will, God, let it happen. And we, are, we were sure it's, it's God's will um, to, have, to have children. And, uh, and yes, uh, we had our babies. We are so blessed. So they born early, like on 25 weeks in micro one day. Yeah. And they called them micro preemie. So they would be like one pound. Yes, the size was of the baby size was like a Barbie size, um, <laughs> and then so they weren't really early, but anyway, uh, after they born, uh, the thing, uh, the first thing we couldn't see our baby for like so, ten days, for, almost, yeah, yeah ten and days. then they because call we had us, COVID. yeah, we had a COVID, and they don't let us because they said for the safety issue and those stuff, and then after, imagine you're not, uh, you're waiting to see your baby and they call at the night and they says, you need to rush to the hospital because one of them is not- uh, Going to survive. Yeah, she's sick. And uh, and then we went there, we called uh, Uncle Fred and then we tell him that story, they call us now because, yeah. And then we called uh, Uncle Fred and then he came to the hospital. We didn't know he spoke with the prophet Lovi. And then, uh, so we went in, they let us know because they believe that baby is not going to survive on the, the next day. We asked them that yeah. we want to pray over the baby and we have uh, a, Yeah, uh, we have the yeah. like yeah. pastor assistant to let everyone get into the uh, and they room said, yeah, and sure. without the, any COVID test and those stuff. Even and, though they had to pass the COVID yeah. test, but at that time they believed they like, believe like, the last chance yeah, you last, can... You know, the last chance and then... Uh, that is uh, also teach us that there is no closed door for the dogs. Every door will be open if the God wants. Amen. Yeah. And then after that, Uncle Fred came there. We prayed on the baby and then... Yeah, we prayed over the baby. Uncle Fred gave me the shawl and um, he told me to um, speak life over grace. And yeah, and I believe that, yeah. that and then everything will be okay. The doctor says that the baby must not survive until morning. So we went home and like we, I remember that on the other day at 7 a.m. we meet Uncle Fred in front of the hospital. So we went up there, me and my wife again. They make an expression and because uh, we went there into the room and then doctor came and says, I don't know what happened. He says that baby is normal. There's nothing on the 
thing. There is, is no bleeding. It's just a little bit bleeding that is gonna go away by the time. Because they did the echo on the brain and then, yeah. Ultrasound. And, yeah. Ultrasound, yeah. And then this is the baby we're talking. This is our grace that it's happened that night to her. But God saves her. Yeah, they born on May 16 and that um, episode happened on May 23rd at 2.30 a.m. Yeah. And then after that, we decide to move them to the other hospital. We move them to other hospital. And then my other baby, yeah. Joyce, so she had a, a heart surgery that's common on this age when they born early. But even doctors, like, they were shocked too because that one pound baby goes through easily without anything happen at the surgery. And the recovery was fast too. Yeah. She needed to be 700 grams in order for them to do the surgery uh, Surgery on her. But she p so exactly she made exactly 700. on the 700. <laughs> and they did the surgery yeah. and then, yeah. They said everything went well. Yeah, and then after that, Every day and every day, miracle happened at our rooms. A lot of people came, know about this church. Yeah, they by, know about this church by already. These two little CHLA one. workers, they, <laughs> most of them, <laughs> NICU, NICU section, they, they, uh, they saw us that we were watching like every Thursday, every Sunday. They were interested to know. We, we told them about the great story from the Adventist hospital. So they, they know. <laughs> And they are they are watching and maybe they are coming too. <laughs> yeah, these two little ones showed a lot of things to the people. Yeah, and then they've been out in the hospital for five months and they went to, through a lot of things, major things that they already passed. Even though from a lot of places they call us for because following that thing because they born early, like high risk centers and in other places. The first things they ask and they shock, they like, are they in oxygen? Are they in something? And we like, no, not Yeah, in. because they said like, uh, they're not in oxygen. They said, usually these micro premies, they go home with oxygen or any tube or anything. They said, no, they don't have any and problem. And they, they, they shock and then we tell them, these are the miracle baby that, yeah. They are so tall. <laughs> like they're dead. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Finally, we made it. Finally, somebody say wow. 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 God is able to do amazing things. Woo! Man. Yes. Yeah. God is able to. How does it feel, Mama? Amazing. 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 I feel so blessed. You feel blessed? Who are these two? Wow. My, my parents and pa my niece. Ah, and your niece? Yeah. She wanted to come to church. Oh, nice. V voices. Shot love. Shot love. <laughs> how, how do they feel about you having too many kids at once? <laughs> they feel amazing. My dad cannot stop seeing them one day. Like every day he comes. <laughs> he cannot miss a day. Not every day he comes day. over. To babysit them. <laughs> yeah. You see, when God gives you a prophetic word, fight for it by praying. Fight for it by what? Praying. May God give you Uncle Fred. Come, 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 Uncle Fred. Come. May God give you the strength to pray things through. God said he would deliver Israel, but the Israelites had to pray. God has a way of blessing us and blessing us incredibly. And, and I remember when, um, when uh, the babies were sick, God gives the babies and the babies are sick. Yeah. I told Uncle, Uncle Fred called me, he said that the doctor said that the babies are going to die. One is going to die. Yes, correct. And I told him, Uncle Fred, God doesn't give us things so that they die. Amen. 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 He said, Papa, Amen. what do I do? I said, just take your prayer thing. Sure. Go and put it on them. Yes. No baby is going to die. Amen. 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 And, and I don't know if you remember, they said by the morning they should come see the baby, right? Yeah. What did they tell you? Uh, so, all right. So the doctor says the baby may not live as 
to the morning. Uh -huh. Survive because Survivor. Uh, she had a severe bleeding on his uh, on her brain. Uh -huh. It was like a stroke, and um, they, uh, the doctor says there's no cure for that. And uh, we, even though we had COVID at that time for 10 days, we never. Yeah. We see never them. see we the, baby. the picture of the baby after the born. We yeah. didn't see the baby because they don't let us because we had the COVID. Uh -huh. So imagine you don't see your baby and they call you and says, "Comes because one is not gonna." Yeah, suffer. it was on May 23 at 2:30 a.m. I remember that they called and they say rush to the hospital, like even though you have COVID, just rush because uh, she's not gonna survive. And and we call Uncle Fred and Uncle Fred call you, mm -hmm. and you tell. Him, Go there and pray. Take the shot from Hill Conference. Yes. It was uh, like a few days before that. Yes. And he came there and he gave a shawl to my wife. And we pray on my grace. This, this is the one. Okay. Yeah, he said That's, to speak life yeah. over her. And then we prayed and we go home. And the next day, we went back to the hospital and doctor was shocked. He's like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> 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 Somebody shout Jesus! Jesus! <laughs> Imagine somebody comes and it tells you God is going to make you pregnant. Before you know it, she gets pregnant. Yeah, yeah. Pregnant with twins. Delivers the children. They say baby is going to die. I say, how can God give us something that will die? Come on. It's not happening. Look at what God can do. Amen. Amen. Clap your hands for the Lord Jesus. No, most no. just they're gonna have like one eye, eye surgery that is normal because is when usually the premature babies who ever born early is common to do laser eye surgery. Yeah, and then the other things like God spoke, God spoke to us with a lot of way. Like those days, like we came and we like a lot of people came and says like like my Joyce, she had like extra skin things on her body they they didn't know what is it and then yeah it was a, like a um t like a fat fat tissue, tissue or yeah. something but they, they weren't sure what is it they had to do biopsy and then they said we want to we we're gonna do the biopsy but they left they said we c we're gonna come back we're gonna do the surgery and i'm like oh what no. what's happening no and then they we prayed again at the hospital. We we were keep playing. We were we were keep praying, and we let Uncle Fred know every single day what's happening. So he was praying with us. He was letting Papa know what's happening, uh, what to pray for, and and that that, that thing also disappeared. And yeah, they, we we have we had we have actually to make an appointment. They called me. I forgot to tell you. They called me. They said, oh, do we need to make an appointment for Joyce? Uh, like it, to uh, follow up that the, thing? The, the thing that it was movable uh, uh, to, to do the surgery or whatever is needed. I said, oh, actually it's gone. We don't need to come and you, you guys recheck it. It's, it's, it. She doesn't have it anymore. Yeah, that was the thing. And I, even, even God spoke to us with the someone who came from the surgery team says, and like, I remember she said like, you have to wait. You know, like, you know, because we pray for it and God show us, talk to us, what we have to do. Do we have to do the surgery? And then the next day, God, I spoke to us, we told that, la that lady that she's like, you have to wait. And then we wait and then it, that skin thing is gone. First pray for it. Pray for it deeply. All I can say, pray for it. Okay. Ask the people pray for it too. You know, don't be one and pray. Ask, be more than a one, as in the Bible said. But come to Revelation Church. Yeah. <laughs> and then come to Revelation Church. And as Pop, Prophet Lovi says, may you know the God of this because house. May you and, experience it, yes. Yeah. Because it's different. So you can pray too, but Prophet Lovi's prayer is way different. Yeah. The way I communicate with God. As we see all every Thursday and Sunday, the miracles in here. So uh, I thank God for him that he's working through him. Yeah. I thank him how uh, for I, I thank him for We bother him too much. 
<laughs> George the uncle for it. And then, yeah, thanks, thanks him for every time. Whatever he, do, he, he did for me, for my family, for our babies. For Thank his prayer. Thank you so much for all yeah. his prayers. And, and then for his supper. He because he to. always asked about us. And thank, I want to say thank you, Prophet Lovi, for everything, no grace. And then, yeah, and then... Uh, he and absolutely lead us closer to not only us, like every one of us from Revelation Church, from YouTube family, from all over the world. Prophet Lovi lead us to Jesus every single day, every day. Yeah. We see miracles, we, we watch them every Sunday, every Thursday. So whoever didn't experience it, let I, him, yeah, let him to experience yeah, it. Let him come, come and experience yeah. it. Yeah, I will say thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Thank you, thank you that you always been with us, even we turn our face for His love, back for His to, grace. You for always been us. Your hands always been on us. You never turn back to us. Even we forget you, but you always be on side of us. You tell us. Like, leave your warrior, I will take it, and he did. That's our experience was in this once in the hospital. Because they coming, they give you this, this isn't going to happen. But Jesus says, don't worry, leave it to me. It's, yeah, it's really hard. I, I just remember one thing that uh, when, uh, when I didn't, um, I didn't deliver them, the, my, my uh, OBGYN came and also lots of lots of like people was coming. I'm not even sure where they were from, but they had to come to talk to me, like to get me ready mentally, physically, that they were saying lots of stuff. And I, and I wrote it down. Um, I don't remember if I have it, but they were like, these things might happen that uh, if they born, they might like not survive in a week. They might have bleeding in his, on their brain. They might have severe disability in the future. They might have lots of complication. Uh, do you still want your babies? I said, yes, of course. And they were, uh, they were um, telling me and I was like, can you, whatever you guys say, can, can you uh, say it again? Because I want to write down these things. And they were thinking like, I'm, I'm crazy. What, why am I going, why do I need to write these things down? But I said, I told them because I, I, this is going to be a testimony. It's, it's, it, these things are not going to happen. And it's actually going to be a testimony that all these things, it, it never happened to them. Never. Yeah. And then I, I told them it's not going to happen and I believe it's not going to happen. Also, we want to say special thanks for another two person that we are so blessed that God put his people in our life. So first one, I want to again be thanks, a special thank you. Thanks for the Puffy Lovi that thank you for your, your kindness and your support every time you do. And then also, I want to say thank you to uh, the real Uncle Fred, that we bother him 24 7 days, but he always been inside of us. And he, yeah. And then also the third person I want to say thank you is uh, Dr. Brown. Thank you so much. I want to yeah, say thank Dr. You. Brown. Thank you, uh, Prophet Lolita and Dr. Brown, for all your counseling, all your teaching and helping us. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yes, I'll sue. <laughs> yeah. They were girl one day. Sorry to interrupt. They were girl one day, and they will. They're gonna know this story, and they're gonna give it their own testimonies. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you for you having us. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much Thanks. for everything. Thank you.